Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Here we are going on to tutorial number, oh, got my allergies still, seven of the Divine Rose. Don't know what kind of look I want to do as usual, but I think I kind of want to use this one and just make it like a staple look. Maybe just use that by itself. Maybe. We'll see. Let me go prep my eyes and then we'll get right into this tutorial. Alright, so eyes are prepped with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eyeshadow Primer. <laughs> still my favorite. Still still going strong. Obviously, I'm going to be doing that at every bit I use it. Durr. So, I'm going to go in with this one. don't remember what it was called. Valor? Valor? No. There's like hints. It's almost like a cool toned... Oh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. So I'm just going to go ahead and pat it on with my finger first. Just to get the best payoff. On both sides. And it's just so smooth. Oh, I love her velvets or her metallics and her shimmers. By far one of my favorites, as far as formulation. Oh. Oh. She's doing something. Now I'm going to go in with the fluffy brush. And just begin to fluff out or blend out the edges. And I do want to bring it out just a smidge. Really make this the moment. Perfect on both sides. I don't know if I want to go in with the mahogany to really amplify this look more or just leave it and just have a moment with this. Uh... You know what? We're going to go with the mahogany. So... I'm going to go in with more of a brush like this, dip it into the mahog, mahogs, and begin to just, I just want to keep this more on the outer part of the eye. Just like that. Like I got home from work from not too long ago and I just want to do a look. Got so done doing a little mini workout and I just need to do a look. Oh, I don't even think these are at the right angle. Well, they're gonna be distance twins today. <laughs> just really building it up in the corner. There we go. And then, went in with that fluffy brush and just begin to just literally just keep it on the outer part. Just to really create more of that deep V. And just begin to blend out as desired. Just keeping it very casual with this look today. Perfect. Keeping the drama in the edge. Perfect. Let me go do the other side and we'll continue. Alright, so this is where we are at. I went ahead and just go ahead and lined my waterline and my inner eyes with the extreme black permanent gel. And now for the brow bone, I'm going to go in with the duochrome one. And I think I might use that as my highlight today as well. Oh, this is just so immaculately gorgeous. Oh, 
this whole color story is just so beautiful. You got your hints of your pinks, your warm, your beige, your taupe, all of it. And I think for the inner corner, begin to just have it there. Just a little peekaboo moment. If you can hear that, that's a pigeon. Oh my word. Perfect. Just do that right in the inner and blend it in. This shade it has like a hint of a purple or a lavender. It's just so beautiful. Oh. Oh my word. There we go. So this is where we are at with it. Let me actually turn down this lighting so we can see what it looks like in just natural lighting. Oh, gorge. Perfect. Let me go ahead and do the rest of my face and you guys will see the finished look. Pretty easy, pretty simple with this look. Um, yeah, see you in a moment. All right, so here is the final look. Oh, she's so beautiful. Tutorial number seven on the Divine Rose Uno. And this, I'm actually really liking. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a look I made from the Divine Rose 2 with a little bit, I mean, it's a duochrome. And I use it as a highlighter, but it really bounces off that gold, which reminds me of that gold from the Divine Rose 2. And this has like a hint of like a pinkish purple lavender gray. I mean, oh, it's just so beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, lips are supermodel with nectar pale fire, pale fire nectar lip gloss. Um, brows are still benefit as usual. Nothing changing there because I do love my gimme brows. Just give me some of them brows. Um, yeah, so tutorial number seven. I'm actually really, really digging this palette a lot more now that I've done seven tutorials, really diving into it a lot more. Um, I do think I want to give this bronze a chance and let that be like, ooh, that's like a cool tone taupe type of bronze there and it's just oh it looks like it's cool but then once you swatch it it just really oh you know what you do that with the hint of that gold on top like right in the middle maybe Let's see how much this changes oh 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 my god my god that is beautiful even doing it just like that. Oh, might have to do that for the next look. But yeah, tutorial number seven. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. If you really, I mean, if you have this palette, dive into it. Get into it. Get in there. All up in it. Um, blush is the Divine Rose, regular Divine Rose one, which is like a cool mauve, but it comes out a little bit more pinkish. So for me, it's a. Not as mauve as I would like it, but this highlighter though, oh, I am like just living for this as a highlighter. This all over, but it does remind me a little bit of the Divine Rose highlighter, Ultra Glow highlighter. So you have this, do this way, you have that. I'd say this is more pink, where this is more, uh, maybe, yeah, different. This, the Divine Rose has more of that pink peach, where the one in the palette is more of a, I don't know, I mean, that is the difference. So this is the highlighter, and that is from the palette, so, yeah. I feel like this one has more of that pink, pink base shift, and this has more of that golden shift. But yeah, I mean, oh, as a highlighter, gorge.
But if you guys have this palette, bring it back out. You got, we've done, I've done, and if you're watching, get into it, seven different looks with this palette. Um, I'd say I probably will do a couple more. Maybe end at 9, 10, 11, or 12. Um, still NARS. I am really, really debating of getting the foundation from Pat McGrath. I don't need it. I do not need it. Because the shade is out. It's not available on the website and also not available at Douglas, which is media 14. Excuse me. But I might try 16 because we are getting into spring and summer and then maybe also get 18, which I found out was my shade last summer. So we'll see. We'll see what happens because the bronzers are coming out and I kind of want to do full face of Pat McGrath finally with bronzers. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Another look, another day, another day of blooming and divine divinity of roses. So... I will see you guys next video and I'm pretty sure by the time I get done with this, I think the last look might incorporate the bronzers if I get it on time or my next palette focus will be the bronzers. We'll see. I'll see you guys later.